map. You scan a crudely drawn map and notice the location to the west marked as shelter. All right, investigate that there shelter. Hello, anybody here? Even though I'm not there yet. There's some rad strops. Yep, rad strops. I'm a little bit closer now. Just, just a little bit. Uh, where is it? Is it just like up there or something? Looks like it's closer than that. Looks like it's right in front of me. All right. Why is there a manhole up here? A bunka. You discovered a bunker filled with food and numerous and amenities. A strange departure from the hostility of the waste. You catch the scent of a Brahmin steak, apparently fresh off the grill. As your appetite surges, you hear the distinct crackle of an intercom down the steps. Wow. Wow. Whoa. Jesus. Look at all this stuff. This place is nice. Hello. Hello, traveler. Welcome to my humble abode. Please, help yourself to the food. You must be famished. Who are you? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Dr. Vincent Mago, at your service. Why are you doing this? Isn't it reckless to invite strangers in? I'm doing this because I have suffered the unforgiving trials of the waste. I understand the struggle for one's very survival. Well, why thank you. I have felt the terrible, crippling hunger that pushes a man beyond reason. I discovered this shelter in one of my countless peregrinations, and in the course of time, I've set out to create an oasis of philanthropy. That was very noble of you. You're too kind. Please, enjoy a hot meal. It's the least I can do. When you're ready to leave, just speak over the intercom. All right. I think I will take all of your Nutricolas. What's in here? Guano on a stick. Let's turn on some lights. Oh my god. No. I am going to be eating well tonight. Thank you kindly, mister. I'm gonna kill you now. I hope you've enjoyed the rest, friend. What can I do for you? You're a gracious host, but I must be going now. You've been an exceedingly amicable guest, but I'm afraid I cannot meet your request. I have other plans, you see. Despite the din in the intercom, you, you, you're able to make out a particular noise up ahead, overhead. As you look up, you become lightheaded and feel overwhelmed with a warm, relaxing sensation. Oh, 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 hello. Investigate the shelter. You wake up in a daze, stripped of your belongings, and soon struggle to your feet. You notice a strange man eyeing you beyond the bars. You suspect he is your captor. Ah, you're awake. You're even more vigorous than I had anticipated. Very good. What the hell's going on here? You're in a cell, in my bunker. I'm afraid this is the end of the line, my friend. It's a matter of survival, really. What can I say? The Wasteland really brings out that war of all against all quality. Uh, you're a cannibal, aren't you? You've been luring people in as murdering, in and murdering them. I can't quite hear you. Lean a little closer. No, I'll keep my distance. Thank you very much. You're a cannibal. You possess copacetic powers of observation. Yes, I'm a cannibal. And a long-lived one, thank you. I'm rather proud of that fact. No matter what happens, you'll deal what's coming to you. God's gonna cut you down. I've been capturing and eating preachy fools like you for decades. What makes you think you're any different? I have 
Oh, take a look ten at companions with me. He was a spirited lawman from town, hell bent on finding his brother's murderer. A few nights ago, Bob bashed his head in against the floor in order to prevent the fate of his brother and so many others. Where's the justice in that? By every indication, Bob was an honest, brave soul who died with pride. Yet, I'm still standing here. Not for long. Don't talk at me about justice. In a few minutes, you're going to be silent, meaningless fodder for my survival. There's your justice. Uh, quick! Bob! Bobby Pin, yes. Uh, E, move! Cell door, yes. Open. We got one shot at this. Go get him, guys! Go get him! You go. Huh! Yeah, go get him. I've got you now! Come on! Go! Go! Where's he going? Go, Boone! There we go. I didn't even have to do nothing. Because my companions completely destroyed you. Cleaver, Mato's Finger, Mato's Key, Strange Meat. Oh, no. Rancid. Ugh. I'd rather not. Is that it? Oh, it's in there. Medical supplies. Stim pack. Nice. What is that? Weapon repair kit. Awesome. Where's all my stuff? That's what I want to know. Oh, you hear the flies. He's got a beer and banana rook. Banana hook or fruit. Is it in here? Maybe. Maybe. Stolen deer. I'll take all of it. What? How am I over encumbered? Well, anyways, allow me to put all my hotkeys back on. And to kind of rearrange some stuff. Alright, so. First off, let's do this. I don't. Oh, that's right. Because I need to do this. Can I wear this? Oh, I can. Nice. Alright, so. <clears throat> um, what do I want to be two? Let's have the Smith and Wesson be three, you be four, five, six, seven, uh, seventy eight, fifty two, seven, um, an eight can be you. Sure. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, that is cool. That is a cool reload animation. Well, all right. Let's get out of here. Randall and Associates. I'll associate your Randall. Ho ho. Hello. Did you find out who's behind the disappearances? Yes. A kidnapping cannibal, you say? Yes. Shit, that's a surprise. Yes. Most of the cannibals around here have been put out of business by the NCR. Yes. Anyway, here's your reward. Excellent work. Yes. Wait, how much did I get? How much do I have? I have holy crap, sixteen thousand. Lucrative bounty if you're ready for work. How about it? Heck yes. Sure. Good. This next contract has some significant risks, but a hefty payday to match it. Kill Jack and retrieve Your his target fingers. is a gunslinger known simply as Jack. Our client hasn't given us much to work with, but it doesn't matter. Jack used to be the chief gunman for Heck Gunderson and manage the muscle in Gunderson's operations. 
When I said he managed the muscle, I mean he pretty much was the muscle. Jack intimidated countless landowners into selling their property. Along the way, Jack managed to rack up a significant body count. Over the years, he became more and more ruthless. Recently, Jack shot up a farmer and his wife, so Mr. Gunderson quickly cut all ties with his pistolero. Now, Jack is just another gun for hire. Without Gunderson to protect him, though, Jack is fair game. He's made plenty of enemies. Oh my god. I want to see him dead. Dodge. Last I heard, he had drifted into Good Springs, hoping to get work with the locals. Jack is as fast as they come, so be ready, kid. Good luck. Well, all right. Ooh, that's a nice gun. Not really, it's trying to crap. Well, all right. Let's head up that way. Uh, yes. What was oh, that's right. That's what I was going to do. I was going to... Well, actually, no, I don't have to because there's a workbench here. I was going to see if I can make any of that stuff yet. Oh, just approach with caution. Yes, I'll use this gun. Well, if it isn't a courier turned bounty hunter. Is there something wrong with your face? You're making quite a mark in the Mojave. I applaud you. Of course, I assume you're here for the bounty. I am. Old man Gunderson is going soft, I'm afraid. He'd have nothing if it weren't for me and this pistol. And as for you, I think that Randall and Associates are trash. I'll show you trash. In fact, every bounty hunter they've sent after me has been trash. And that pretty much makes you trash as well. Well, prepare to be killed by trash. Fuck you, shit kicker. Make your move, then. Oh, God, your teeth. Over what? here. You still want me to make my move? Okay. He's like, oh, my face. Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> oh, he just, <laughs> he did a backflip. Oh, Shane's Bane. Sure. Chat selfie. Ooh, sure. Why not? Why the hit now? It's right here. This is the crafting bench. Or workbench, I should say. Alright. Cybernetic implants. Mist. Weapon mods. Weapons. It's way down here, I think. Yep. So, stuff like this. Uh, this one. Oh, wait, no. So, Mother Butcher Wasteland Survival Rifle. Wasteland Survivor's Rifle. This one I could make, I believe. If I have a machete and a 10mm submachine gun. This one. Oh, I need science for that one. Homemade rifle. Uh, fire starter rifle. Double barrel assault rifle. Sensor module vacuum cleaner. Oh, all right. What is it? Uh, this one? Yeah, 10 millimeter submachine gun, machete, and it does 298 DPS and 26 damage. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Machete, submachine gun. All right. Wonder if Chet has any of that stuff. If not, there's always the Legion. But I don't really want to get on bad terms with them just yet. You're looking to buy some supplies? Yes, show me what you have for sale. You better have some of this stuff, Chet. Laser pistol. You don't. Absorption goo grenade. Huh. Yes, you have nothing. Get out of my life. Uh, where am I going to find a 10mm submachine gun? And a machete. I think it's like right... Where is it? It's like around here. I 
think. Or maybe not. Where is it? Because I took this road to there, and I didn't see anything there. Or is it further down? Is it right there? What is this? Ranger Station Charlie. Might also be there, but I don't know. Huh. Wait, what is this? Oh, right, that's for that. That's for that. Never mind. Late Las Vegas. Uh, I guess we'll go to the Gun Runners and see if they have a machete and a 10mm submachine gun. If not, I will be very angry. Hello. Welcome, sir or madam. Ugh. Do you have... Tell me to... Oh, God. I don't need a fully repaired one. Jesus. I mean, can you sell me, like, a shitty one? What is the other thing? A machete. No, you do not have anything of use. Ah, uh, how much is this? How much is this? How much is this? How much is this? How much is that? It's quite a bit. Quite a, quite a, quite a bit. See you later. Uh, I wonder if... Uh, what's his face? No. No. Uh... Those guys in Freeside will have it. What are their names? Mick and Ralphs. I wonder if Mick and Ralphs has it. Where is Mick and Ralphs? Is that close to this gate, the south gate, or the north gate? I don't know. I guess it can't hurt to go in this one. I think it's close. I think it's in the second part. No, it's right there. Good choice, friend. Good choice. You're welcome, friend. Oh, well. No reason to be thankful. Just doing a kind. Hello, Ralph. If you're looking for guns, talk to Mick. Ah, uh, see you later. <laughs> I need guns. Welcome to Mick and Ralph's. If you need guns, I'm your man. Well, then you're my man. For general supplies and other services, see my partner Ralph. All right. What guns do you have for sale? Have a look. A ten millimeter submachine gun. Uh, it does not look like it. God dang it! But you do have a whole bunch of ammo, so... Uh, do you have... Oh, Katana? Little Devil? Ooh, bonus critical chance. Huh. Nuka Breaker. Oh, you got some interesting stuff here, man. Some interesting... Embrace the Mantis King. It's <laughs> an interesting name. Oh, wait, do you have a machete? No, you do not. Cram. Yes, cram is an aid. <laughs> sure, why not have all of it? And 38 special. 44 magnum. Might as well. 44 special rounds, sure. 12 gauge. 12 gauge bean bag. 12 gauge dragon's breath. Flachette, pull slug, eh. What else do I want? I want these. That's what I want. And do I have anything I can sell you? Uh, you can have this. Ah, uh, sure, you can have that. It's flaming. And, uh, I don't know. What else do you want to give me? How about some more? And some more, and some more, and some more. Hollow points, sure. Still not enough. Uh, 12 gauge pulse sleds, I guess. 12 gauge bean bags, then. Oh, God dang it. All right, there you go. Thanks. Come back and see. Oh, wait, can you prepare some stuff? Welcome back. Uh, can you prepare some stuff for me? 75, all right. Ferguson rifle, oh, do I want you to repair? This plus four, three thousand caps. Jesus. Oh my god, that's that's expensive. Way too expensive. Thanks for stopping in. Ah, where am I gonna find this stuff? 
10 millimeter submachine gun and a machete. Hmm. Guess I could go here. I don't know if they'd sell me weapons though. Uh, huh. Boulder City, probably not. Novak, I don't know if there's any place down there. Oh, there is that guy. I can't hurt to look. Because I want to get this gun. Because it looks pretty good. It's pretty, pretty good. Got some nice stats on it.